Hey, what is up heroes and welcome to Cassette Beasts, Peer of the Unknown. The DLC has just released. I'm so very happy this game's getting DLC because this game was definitely one of the best games this year and I'm so excited to play through this. But thank you for purchasing Peer of the Unknown. A new story quest can now be accessed by speaking to Clements after you have had your first proper meeting with the Triangle Man, which we've obviously finished the game so we can do this. And we've got the following cosmetic options are also now available. Got Ringmaster, Hair Option 1 and 2, Jester's Hat Hair Option, Two Toner Hair Option, and Clown Nose Head Option. Okay. Right, so let's jump right into it. And then we're going to go and uh, change our outfit first, I think. That'd be the best thing to do, but we'll go speak to you in a little bit. Because I want to go and get our new outfit going. And hopefully uh, we can look pretty banging. <laughs> Alright, so let's get ready for this DLC. Right, uh, so we have, where are the options? Ooh. So there's the ringmaster hat. Get the clown nose as well, but I've got to keep the visor on. And was there any like new outfits here? Honestly, I kind of want to keep my stuff like this. Just keep the top hat on because <laughs> it looks kind of good. All right, oh, look at that, it looks so good. <laughs> we are now ready. Oh, so let's uh, go and do this. Also, if you've never played this game before, heard about it, you should definitely check it out. It's amazing, it has definitely the best soundtrack any game this year. It's fantastic, but ah, Voltsy, just the face I was hoping to see. Patron of this fine establishment told me of a peculiar sighting they saw earlier. An abandoned rowing boat sailing itself to shore not too long ago. Sounds strange, no? I thought that you'd like to hear about it, given that uh, you and your friends adore discussing strange occurrences uh, right here in my cafe. Okay, it's got a rowing boat over there. So uh, let's go head over. So this DLC you don't have to finish the main story for, but like I said, you just have to do a little bit of progress and you can do it whenever, which is uh, really nice. Alright, so let's head on over. And there's the boat. Give me a second Barkley with us, because, dude, I, I love Barkley. <laughs> Get in the rowing boat, yes. We are ready. The rowing boat begins to move. So the rowing boat has finally stopped moving. It's a bright side pier. Definitely based off Brighton Pier, which I've been to Brighton once, absolutely love it. I was actually planning to go Brighton again this year, but things uh, got in the way and hopefully uh, can still make the trip by the end of the year. If you ever go to the UK, I definitely recommend Brighton. Very lovely place. Like, honestly, I would love to move to Brighton. Ooh, this is looking a little bit spooky. Got the witch house over there. Vagrants and vagabonds of the audience. Are you sitting comfortably? Uh, there are no seats here. <laughs> um... Are you standing comfortably? Uh -huh. Good, then let us begin the show. I welcome you all. I welcome you all. The time draws near. Come one, come all. To a bright side pier. I am Gwen. I'm gonna be honest. Usually, I uh, I'm pretty scared of clowns. Probably my second biggest fear, but I like Gwen. I like Gwen a lot. <laughs> I'm Gwen, humble host and ring mistress of Brightside Pier. You've received a special invitation to the grand reopening of this once-in-a-lifetime carnival of entertainment. Or at least that's what I would be saying if this place was ready for the public. Unfortunately, I'm having uh, some uh, technical difficulties. Uh, what's going on? Well... The pier's three main attractions are each powered by rusty old machines that keep them running day and night. Something has happened to these infernal engines, and now their instability uh, threatens the safety of the entire pier. This happened on my watch, and because of the uh, nasty blighters that have uh, since moved in, I'm unable to uh, fix them myself. I sent out the boat to your island in hopes that someone would come and help me resolve my slight predicament. Well... What do you think? Do you think you'd be able to give these infernal engines a good old wallop to make them work again? Eh, uh, sure. Fantastic! I knew from the moment I saw you that you'd be uh, up to the task. Around the pier you'll be able to find prize tickets. If you collect enough of these, I'll exchange them for a pass to let you into an attraction. Uh, you have all the attraction passes already? <laughs> I'm duty bound as both a host and a clown to abide by the rules of the establishment. Besides, it's more fun this way. Okay, so new quest, Pier of the Unknown, disable the three infernal engines at Brightside Pier. 
Okay. Right. So I know, yeah, there's a chest here. Little spoiler, I saw a little bit of uh, gameplay from this. Okay. Just so excited. Can we pick up this or... Oh. Hey! Oh. Let's get another one. Rise ticket. And what do we want to do here? We've got a campfire. Uh, can we jump onto this stuff? The lights? Okay, that's not me changing the lights. Maybe we can do something with this later on. Right, uh... Should we ride this? Whee! <laughs> Wait, I can jump on it. Just knocking things down. Oh, I don't move along with it. Alright, what does this do? Uh, that costs a ticket, which we can't use. Yeah, I, like these sort of rides here, I would never go on that. Like, I'm probably one of the worst people to take to like an amusement park. <laughs> I uh, I don't do too well on rides. Don't really like roller coasters or things like that. Uh, what we got in here? Ooh, there is definitely something behind there, but we need a key. I'm liking the music here. Uh, nothing with wait. No. If we take this and put this on here. Oh, wait. Buckley? Yeah, there you go. So that gets us the chest. Another prize ticket. Let's go. We'll come back here when we get a key. Yeah, that thing looks kind of cool from what I can see of it. Need a pink pass for that. Hey, how's it going, buddy? You got a magic crab. Welcome. I've taken the liberty of opening platform E for your travel. Now, what can I do for you? Uh, nothing. We're good for now. Very well. All right. Uh, can't get onto that. I do hope this game gets more DLC in the future. Like little things like this, just like little extra stories. I love. Doesn't have to be like post-game content. Just little things like this. But let's speak to you. We've got a few prize tickets. How many do we need? Hello. So what we're gonna do for you? I want to trade prize tickets. So you need f uh, four for a attraction pass, and we have three. So we need to try and find a way into at least one of these chests. Uh, what do we want to do? Ow. So that's the red pass. Uh. That's the green one. So going. How do we get into these chests? Oh. Mm, oh, what's this? Oh, okay. So that's definitely something we want to do. That's gonna bring us back, and this got to be the pass or the ticket we need for the pass. Hey, and we got some other stuff as well. There are also uh, new monsters we can we can tame, which I'm gonna try and. Oh, I'm gonna make that. Try and use, um. There you go. Try and use uh, some new ones when we can uh, capture them. Alright, yo! Hello? So let's trade. What should we go for? We've got green, pink, or red? Let's go for the green one because that's just like literally right next to us. Okay. Into the witch house. Spooky. Okay. Trapdoor, so oh, the, the wall's moving. Oh, this is creepy. Oh, got some ghosts. So there's three different ways to go. I said we go left first. Right, so we want to get a thing onto that. Bring this over here. Ooh. And plop that onto there. Okay, and... Oh, no, 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 my bad, my bad. Oh, you don't actually have to keep that on there. Okay, cool. Maybe we can take that with us later on. There's nothing else. There's little... Oh, wait. No, yeah. There's little dots on the uh, the bottom there. I just look a bit suspicious. And that rug as well. I don't know, man. A bit sus. Places like this, you just can't trust anything you see. Hey! Have a prize ticket? Hey, nice! 
Uh, hi. Right, level 55. We're, we're good level. Right, let's go double smack and let's go for a smack. And I've missed the soundtrack of this game. So good. I got I got the vinyl set as well because it's just ah, oh, absolutely banging. All right. Okay. So let's grab this. We need a key for that. But oh no. Okay. So ruby eye. Shaped to fit into a particular socket. Okay. Uh, what does this say? I can't find my way out of here. If any of you find this, don't come looking for me. I try and send help. Try to send for help instead. P. Okay. Oh. Almost did not see that. No prize ticket. Nice. Right, so we'll come back this way when we get the key. Let's go to the right side then. I love the blazing across the pull is so cool. This looks suspicious. So does this. Uh oh. Hey oh. Can we interact with you? Guess not of that. Why does it feel like there's the spikes gonna to get gonna get me? Oh they they changed. That that had a lady on it. And that had a head. Okay. Keep looking out for the portraits. So the ruby eye goes in here. Whee. Just that. Oh! That's a new one. Ayo. Oh, we've got two new ones. It's got uh, Charlie Quinn and Little Red. Ah, oh, nice. Okay. Uh, I'm going to try and get both of these. Alright, so let's. Double sm mm. yeah, it's double smack. I'm gonna record you. Uh, fire. Yeah, go for this. Seventy-two percent. Bam, bam. That's a hundred percent. Ooh, okay, so it's, it's okay, Barkley. It's okay, still a hundred percent. I think what I'll do, oh, okay, you're gonna call for help, that's fine, is once we finish this, like, area, before we go to the next one, I'll switch the team up. So the Charlie Quinn uses oversized sleeves to store items used for public performances. This includes fireworks, flammable materials, incendiary devices, and more. <laughs> Great. Alright, uh, yeah, I'm doing it, add that to the team. Alright, it's in storage for now, we've got to get a little red. Uh, gonna go for another double smack. And then we'll record again. So you are beast. Uh, probably best just go for a chrome tape. Forty-eight's not bad. From the old one two. Final melee attack up and you berserk, but 100% we got you. Wait, wait, yeah, fail. We're good, we're good. Nice, that's two new team members. <laughs> so, little reds in their immature states have the potential to maintain their civil and friendly personas into adulthood or we'll give it given to their inner beasts. Uh, what would drive such a courteous creature to such bloodlust? Oh, I can think of a thing or two. Okay, so, let's double smack you, and then we'll just double slice if we can take them both out. Oh, I missed. Oh, nice. Sweet. Thought I'd take both out then for a second. Uh, right. Is that just a plate up there? Can I get to it? Can't get to it. Uh, oh. Whoa! A skull, a skull teeth? I got the banging music. All right, take out the little reds first. Let's go for a smack. Oh, dude, I love the music in this game. I think for like, definitely for soundtrack of the year, 
in games, this and Final Fantasy 16 have the best two soundtracks, 100%. So good. All right, uh, I'm gonna double smack you, and I'm gonna go double slice on everything. Bam! Nice, nice. And double smack should finish off the other little red. Come on, bam, bam. That's good, that's good. Okay, and then double smack and... Oh, I, can re I should record this. Uh, yeah, probably best go chrome tape. Okay, 31%. It's not, it's not the best, but we've got the double smack to come in still. Berserk, at least you're not attacking me. That's good. 80%. I like the mods. Okay, it's going to go down a lot now. 30%. I don't like the mods. <laughs> Recording failed. Okay. Uh, right. Uh, let's record with you. And... Double slice. I'm a little bit scared, to be honest. 93%, but you gotta hit me still. Bish bash bosh. <laughs> oh my god, it's so much. Okay, 34%. Oh, we got it! <laughs> Let's go! Oh, I did not think we'd get that with 34%, but a little red that turns feral can grow into this form. The Scarlet Teeth, a hulking clawed beast with a taste for flesh. For a person to take this form in battle is to lose oneself to pure animal bloodlust. Ooh. So is that this form? Do you think it's got multiple evolutions? I mean, I'm definitely going to put on the team. Oh, that's so cool. Victory is ours! Nice, nice, nice. Okay. So we got this switch. Oh. So I guess we can go down here, but... Oh, before you yeah, get... I said before you're done that, I just want to grab this. If the spikes went, hang on, let me go back this way. There was that wall with all the spikes. Is that maybe? Yeah, that's gone as well. That's one of these places. Okay. It's fine. It's fine. Oh, these are so annoying. <laughs> ah. Right. Let, nope. This way. Okay. And then down like this. Gotcha. Oh, the library key. Okay. Uh, all right, let's go back. I think it'll be fast enough to just get past it before these walls go up. Okay, we're fine, we're fine, we're fine, and let's go back this way. So we can jump down now, right? Uh, I don't know which. Let's go to the top left first, and we can make our way around if we go. Oh, no. Maybe we don't want to go down here. Maybe, I'm just going to check all of it, just in case one of these like is a special one where you can actually go down. Because it's a bit... I don't know, it seems a bit sus. Oh, yeah, I'm a bit weak. I can heal up after this battle. Alright, let's just take these out, it shouldn't be too hard. Let's double attack a little red first. Oh, you add speed warp? Nice little double smack. So the library key will have to be the first... Like the bookshelf key one we saw, not the one like the engine room. Good old smack. There you go. I think I have. I'm pretty sure before I started this DLC, like I, I made sure I, I prepped up and bought some stuff, so we should be fine. Yeah. Uh, just make sure we just get healed up. Okay. Yeah, just gonna double check just in case. Yeah. There is no like hidden one. Ooh, okay. Ooh. It's okay, it's okay. Alright, now let's go up this way. Then this wait, is that a door there? Oh yeah, I went through there, yeah. Okay, so let's do this. Ooh. Okay, gotta be quick, gotta be quick. Okay, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. 
Go, 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 go! No, no, that's a bad jump! Okay. <laughs> I could have gone so much smoother. I could have gone so much smoother. Alright. Let's not mess this up. Okay, then jump. Oh. oh, what am I doing? What am I doing? That was so bad! That was so bad. I panicked. I panicked so bad. Okay, that was a new, actually, uh, piece over there. Let's go get that if we can. More prize tickets. Alright, uh, do you want to come fight? Please? Come! Yeah! Okay, Hauntong! I actually kind of love the look of that. Alright, uh... Oh, no, 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 don't want to flee, don't want to flee. Do we have... Yeah, we got wind. Or air. Good old double smack. Oh, that does much. So as I healed up the monsters and not actually I me, mean, that's not good. It's fine, let's go uh let's try again. I think this is gonna be good. It's a little bit Worried. Okay, 2%. Just don't attack Barkley. Do not attack Barkley. And we gotcha! Nice! Woo! That's three new uh, monsters to add, but the haunt home may appear like a book possessed by a restless spirit, but it's I. It's an organic creature that has taken root inside a large home. It flaps its pages to create powerful winds! Ooh, okay. Now we've got to take you out. Although, uh, so a wall and a mental wall. I think the ghosts don't they? If I remember correctly, I can't hit them, but they don't they die in three turns? I thought that's the case. I could be wrong. Double check. Like, at least the fusion bar is actually full now as well. Yeah, so I can't hit you because of ghostly. Well, I can hit you with that. But I'm, I'm fairly certain they take themselves out. Ooh, okay, okay. I'm uh, just gonna use a rewind. Contact damage. Fine, you're fine, you're fine. Yeah. There you go. Sweet. Right, so now let's do this. It's not. Oh. Jump. Parkour. Yeah. Okay, we're fine, we're fine. Alright, let's not mess this up. <laughs> Barkley! No, it's, it's fine, it's fine. Got the balloon. Right, so now we're back. We are gonna go in here. The green engine key has been removed. Alright, in we go. Uh oh. The room is incredibly hot. Barclay is panting heavily. Whoa, dude, I love the boss battles in this game. Well, the boss monsters just look so cool. Infernal Engine Pearl, the Feral Machine. I think we definitely got a got a fuse. Yeah, it's called Pearl. My dog's called Pearl. <laughs> All right, uh, let's go. Uh, give me for a super heated fist. Guzzle fuel, okay. And you take two of my AP. That's annoying. Uh, I think I'm gonna do sharp edges. Nice. 
Like the music here, this is this is cool. Uh, let's just go for a double smack. Nice, nice. I just do not like you keep taking my AP. All right, uh, I'm gonna set up a wall. I'm gonna heal up actually next time as well. Okay, we good. All right, uh, let's definitely get healed up. Oh no, oh, wall went. Okay, that, that wasn't too bad. That, that could have been a lot worse. Um, annoyingly like, ah, oh, dude. I want to try and get the fusion power, but you're just going to keep guzzling my EP. Alright, uh, let's go double smack. Nice. Dude, I love the contact damage. Now they attack up. Okay, that's fine, that's fine. Oh, fusion power time! Nice. And then take some damage back, nice. And we'll go double smack. I think next turn we should take you out. Oh, it's a bit risky. It's a bit risky. I'm gonna just uh, do a wall. Just a little bit concerned. Yeah, now we're fine. It was just in case, just in case. Yeah, because you would have lived. Oh, self-destruct? Oh, no. Oh, that's fine, that's fine. Hey! Let's go! That's nice, that's got iron fillings for uh, our Zeus Strike. Alright, gotta switch the team up now. Hey! Fantastic! So fantastic work, Voltsy. This attraction is officially stable once more. One machine down, two to go. Uh, was that engine an archangel? Hmm. I don't know what an archangel is. Oh. All I know is that something strange happened to the engines here. Now they're like that. I don't want anyone to get hurt. I'll see you back on the pier, Voltsy. Okay. Anything actually over here? No. All right. Let's go back. So we can probably buy another ticket now. But I probably should just rest up. Tape storage. Right, so I want to put on the Charlie Quinn. Oh wait, do you need to do it like this? You go party first, don't you? Oh, I forgot our I forgot Pyromelian is so broken, wasn't it? I mean, I'm not going to use it because it was. I felt like it was broken before. Uh, put you in storage. I've got our bootleg spritzy fire. Uh, put you in storage for now. Tape. And then we want to get the Charlequin. Add to party. And then the other two. The Hauntomb. Which is this one. Add to party. And then it was... The little red like the evolution of it I'm going to use. Yeah, this thing. Scarlet Teeth. Woo! That's a party now. Our team looking banging. Let's rest up. I think it's probably a great place to uh, end this part off. Next episode, we go for another attraction. And take down probably another Archangel. Alright, so thank you guys for watching. I'll catch you guys next time. Have a great day. Peace!